you all look here in the corner. In my mouth. Oh gosh. But uh, there we go. Lid. You can see. All right, everyone. So check this out. It has been a while since we have been here at the pond. What we're going to do is uh, do some work in here. We're going to clean the filters. I'm going to show you a very specific way I clean these filters in here. Um, let's see. You can see some of those hawks in there, but definitely this thing needs some help. It needs some cleaning. It needs some cleaning. So the first thing that we're going to do is remove these lids that are on the top here. Just as easy as pulling this back a little bit to get it from, because I have it underneath here. Um, so if you just pull this back a little bit, it really helps to get these off nice and easy. There we go. Lid number one and lid number two. Get some cleaning done to it. A little bit dirty. In my mouth. Oh, gosh. All right, let's go ahead and take a closer look here in the pond. So again, we got Malawi Hawks in here. And if you look at those filters, it's a little bit hard to tell but they are pretty dirty and they're not filtering as they should be because I don't see much air being produced out of these things. And you can see it's got some algae because of this window here. So uh, I'll have to scrub the algae a different time, but let's go ahead and start by uh, getting some of the detritus and stuff out of here first. So not sure if you guys can quite see it, but uh, yeah, we're just using this big piece here. Can you see all that coming out of there? And they're actually going after it, which is kind of funny. But uh, this is just all the detritus that is in here. Oh yeah, here we go. A whole bunch. Look at this. All that poop. Now what I did was, obviously you can see, we got a lot of the detritus out. There's gonna be uh, poop in the water column because of how much was under the sponges. But what I'm doing now is I'm filling it back up, but I'm having it push the water down to the bottom, right? I'm having it push that water down to the bottom so it's bringing it up and you'll see why. So if you look here, what you guys can see is we got water coming out of the overflow on the pond and it's because we're filling it up from the bottom. So this is technically tank water. It's a little bit diluted, but not by much. So I did this before and it worked really, really great for cleaning those sponges. So let's pull one out. So here is the dirty sponge. And now I'm just going to do this. And this is, like I said, this is mainly tank water coming out because it's flowing from the bottom up. And um, I feel confident that I'm not destroying any of the colony of beneficial bacteria that's on the sponge. As you can see, this was quite dirty. Quite dirty. These things work absolutely fantastic. Very, very nice way to filter your tank or pond if you're you know if it's not for aesthetics it works really good because you know sponges aren't the nicest things in the world to look at right but they do a really good job filtering as you guys can all see here and it's not like you're doing it in a bucket or anything where you're constantly putting back the dirty water into the sponge and you have to keep emptying buckets that's definitely why I started doing it this way. It seemed to really make a difference. Isn't that crazy? Now I know there's gonna be viewers who are gonna be like, oh man, you can be, you know, putting that in your guys' garden and flower beds and all that, because there's a lot of detritus in here. Good fertilizer. Yeah, you're right. You couldn't be more right. The thing is, I just don't have the time and, uh, you know, among other things to do that. It's just not working. It doesn't work for my schedule. 
So it is what it is. And plus I get a lot of rain here where I live. And uh, so we just, we things are green here typically. And then of course, just reinstalling it. One filter here. The second one goes, let's see, there we go. And that does a lot of filtering, everybody. Size of my hand, one sponge. So we got the clean sponge down there. Here is this next one. You can just see how, you know, it's, it's dirty. These, these things are definitely dirty. Um, still pushing the water out, which is fine. So it's technically getting a water change as well. If you all look here in the corner down at the bottom, you will definitely see that uh, I dropped the, uh, um, the piece that the sponges get attached to. There it is. And let that sink to the bottom. Awesome. That'll work. There you go. Beautiful fish. Yeah, check out all those fish in the pond. Let's fire it up. Do you all think I need a quieter filter? <laughs> all right, you guys ready? And now we're gonna go ahead and get the lids on. Gotta make sure that I'm careful with this. Last time I got wet from it. All right, so this definitely goes this way. Let's see. Up, pull this all back, slide it over. And then we got that last piece, let's see. Yep, goes this way. Like this. Same thing. Pull this back. And then I guess I'm gonna do that. So this is on top of something. And let's see, move this guy around this way this kind of fits here perfectly which is nice so check this out i wanted to show this to everybody i have a bunch of little tiny lepturus green ended up having two females holding and uh, we got decent batch two decent batches of these guys they're in a 40 gallon tank and uh, you know, just gonna be growing and all that stuff. Yeah, little guy. So cool. We are gonna go ahead and give these guys some food. They love these small little pellets and I, you know, I throw a decent amount in there and you know, they're still probably a little big for them, but because they, you know, they dissolve and stuff like that. They're able to, you know, get them once they're a little bit softer and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, mini predators. Look at these guys. Little mini predators. Yeah, so we'll see how these guys do, how they grow and stuff. I'll probably end up putting them into the pond outside eventually. This is what is so funny. Look at these guys. You see a bunch of them that are <laughs> holding the uh, the pellets in their mouths. That is so funny. Look at this guy right here. I'm the king. <laughs> 
So, so funny. That pond was due for a cleaning and we definitely got some awesome things going on here inside this fish room. We know the little fish are in here and um, I'm gonna be jumping back in this fish room, guys and gals. We're gonna be doing it. Um, check out these two boxes right here, these big boxes. Awesome, awesome video coming up with what's in here for the fish room. So if you guys are gonna wanna see it, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Also, if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up and comment down below what you guys think. I'm excited to be back. Let's do it. I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Stay tanked.